Thank you so much for watching Tomofuchita Music. Today, I would like to share with you one of my fans wrote me an email message asking about advice. Generally, I receive so many emails and I'm so busy and I do professionally teach. So that means I can really teach people casually. I'm really serious, okay? So that's why I have my guitar wisdom. But this, this email, I almost about to say, oh, sorry, you know, I'm full of Skype lesson and um, uh, I can, you know, answer you. But I just keep reading. He really, really appreciate my work and he really felt he needs some guidance. And he said, I'm curious, what would you recommend to someone in my position? And I was thinking, everybody. Because a lot of people self-taught and study or, you know, work on things at the, um, YouTube. But YouTube, it's a free. So there is good information. I'm so many respectful teacher, like adjusting guitar, Andy guitar, Marty music, active melody, music is fun, my student, former student, Paul Davids, so many, I, you know, and so many, so many. Uh, Michael Pamsiam, you know, he's great too. And so many, so many. But other side, funny part is, to become a guitar teacher, you don't need any certified license, anything like that. So that means as if you become brain surgeon tonight without any license and somebody believe what you do. Very dangerous. So let me read about his uh, letter. Okay. I hope you're well. Oh, here, here, really important. Dear, <laughs> dear Mr. Fujita, very polite. I hope you're well. First of all, it is an honor to even write to you. I first started playing guitar because of John Mayer. And when I learned that you were his teacher, naturally I became an instant fan of yours. Thank you for all your amazing work. So when you write a letter to some, somebody, first you write about that person, not about you. That's very important, okay? Any guidance? would mean help a lot. I currently live in Miami, Florida, and want to keep growing as a guitarist. The issue is I don't have a teacher, and since I had a serious hand injury in the past due to bad technique, I would rather not study alone. Second sentence, finally, where are you from? What you have been doing? What you want to do? What's the problem? Third, some people have recommended I study classical guitar to learn proper technique. Other have recommended I find a jazz, I find a um, jazz guitar teacher. So this means like if somebody recommend you know uh, Mr. M to Mr. M like you know you 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 want to learn a little bit more details, reasons and all that details and uh, foundation. Other have recommended I just learn through videos, but it's not the same. I, I, I'm worried I'm playing with bad technique with no one to correct me. Yeah, a lot of people say just keep working on YouTube, but the easy to say, but if you have not improved with, within six months or a year, then it's not working. I really believe if you have right direction, three months or six months, you really feel something different. Just like anything, if you don't do anything, nothing will happen. But if you do the right thing, something will happen. Okay, I'm curious, what would you recommend to someone in my position? Take care and thanks again for everything, Mr. M. I call Mr. M. So even this lesson, how to write a letter, I mean, I cannot even ask anything, Larry Carlton, 
I'm a huge fan of Larry Carlton, but I have a few questions, but uh, I can't write the letter because I'm so scared, right? Some people write, hey dude, I love your video, show me this and that. It's a little difficult to genuinely like, you know, help that person just because it's too casual. If I say something, I used to do, write something, right? And then, thanks. I wrote it like this, you know. So, you know, I don't do that anymore. So, yeah. So, um, okay. Let me show you. So this is like sort of practice routine with right direction. And this could be semi-permanent or you can change. In other words, I'm not saying this is it. This is one example. So I'm going to show you maybe seven, eight different things that you must know to become a great guitar player. And this is last thing I teach all my students, John Mayer too. Okay, posture. Number one, usually number comes up here, the like Paul Davis, but I don't. Maybe I should write the paper on the paper. Anyway, number one, posture. So watch, I'm using Secret Love, because I went to Music is Win, his studio, he has this and I, I had to buy it, I bought it. So anyway, and I like the T, see? I only sit this much, already I can see, like a line here, I only sit this much. I never sit back, just because I play guitar, I'm not relaxing, I'm here working all the time, okay? It's not couch, but soft and movable, you know. Okay. So number one, posture. Your body is straight. Your shoulder drop. Now, of course, you have to do exercise a little bit. That's a different story. Nothing to do with this one. But anyway, so posture, see? Straight. So if you do this, this is no good. You have to do this, all right? Now... Acoustic guitar. Yeah. Again, sit down and then I I I move this this side a little higher, you know. That's why classical guitar player use the steps, you know. I just do this, you know. And um yeah. You can cross it like that, so fine. But just you know, and then so my chair is kinda low, a little bit low, so that <clears throat> right height, you know, yeah, because you don't want a leg going like this then, you know, guitar is kind of slipping up, you know, right? So that's so number two is normally this Oh, I made that. Oh, I changed it a little bit. Yeah, strap Okay, good. So I use Ace strap from England because I love this strap. My wife bought me this as a gift and uh it's, it's this back it play your ass off, you know, yeah. Anyway, you see this side, it's left up from my body. So my whole entire, see, really soft, not pushing anything. If you don't have strap, guitar is dropping, unless, sometimes I don't use a strap, but I have right chair, right posture, so you see, even dancing, guitar to stay. <laughs> Whatever you do, you know, okay? Tequila, you know, Mr. Bean. Yeah, so if you do that, guitar should be staying. Do you see, you see that? So the both hand free. That's really, really important, okay? So you understand? Strap is important, right? Posture is important. Number three, fingering exercise, picking exercise. So number one, you hold your pick. Sort of halfway, and pick is moving between the finger. 
and very difficult to do. And I use heavy. This is a pick boy, one millimeters. And generally, teacher would say you should start with thin pick. The reason is thin pick you can hold really tight, and pick is moving. Okay, and you pick hard, and pick is adjusting. Okay, for that purpose. But to me, I play same pick for electric guitar, acoustic guitar. Okay, so I use my picking volume. All right. So in order to do this picking volume, you have to have a little exercise. So this exercise, it's written in the description. All right. See, I'm not using full volume. Already someone asking me, should I use a metronome? No, because connection, timing, is far important than keeping time first. So the beginning, you don't have to have a metronome. But eventually, after you master this technique, yes, metronome will help. Okay, so you go up the pattern up to 12 frets, your pinky reach 12 frets. When you go down, you want to go down slightly slower. Just because usually descending a little bit difficult than ascending slowly. Why? I choose fourth string to start, fourth and third, like that. Because this way, your thumb position, very steady. So your thumb position, lightly touching the center of guitar neck. It's not above, it's not too low, all right? So it's easy. Also, I don't teach anything vertical movement in the beginning, just because vertical, you have to use a thumb position change. That's hard to do. So horizontal, pretty much, slightly change, but pretty much uh, keep your thumb on the center. All right, so that's good. So you, you practice that five to 10 minutes. Next one is try it. Understand fretboard. So of course you have to learn one note each, side by side, you know, to understand the note. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. Triad is do, mi, so, mi, so, do, so, do, mi, like that. Of course, you have to learn. So you, this one, you actually, you go vertical and horizontal. Purpose is you learn everything. Only three different kinds, okay? So you go so, do, mi, Mi so do, do mi so, so do mi. You have to sustain. Do mi so, so do mi, mi so do, do mi so. And I pay attention from fifth string, sixth string, I pick a little bit softer. Mi so do, do mi so, so do mi. I use three, four, two, like that and the thumb position always moving. So I teach this triads all my Berkeley students just because thumb position change is really important. So this is a bad example. This, if you do this incorrect, because you're not moving thumb, you're not yet making any effort, you're just playing correct position. That's the problem if you use video tablature because you only see the front and you only use um, position. You have to really understand the meaning. Okay? All right. So vertical, so do mi, uh, th that, and then horizontal. So do mi, do mi so, mi so do, so do mi. You're going back. And a little sustain better, you know? Okay. So I'm just going kind of quick. Bottom notes, maybe you want to just play three is good, like that, you know. Of course, I have 
detailed lessons at Guitar Wisdom. That's where all the important lessons are. Okay. And uh, third one, I'm sorry, this is fourth topic triads, but you do like this vertical, horizontal, then you do same inversion. Do mi so, do mi so, do mi so, do mi so. Really great for phrasing. Mi so do, mi so do, mi so do, mi so do. So do mi, so do mi, so do mi, so do mi. Great, excellent, okay, excellent. And then, you know, you can do that, right? And I will do like a fifth one. I teach a lot of these called root third or seven. Very useful, very, very useful. So like, if you play root third or seven strumming, A blues. So this one, root, Seven third. Okay. Only two form. This one, root third seven. Okay. Yeah. Then what you do is like down stroke, up stroke. This one you could use metronome, but slowly. The reason I teach this uh, idea, triad also, to everyone, every one of my students, just because this really easy to understand jazz, okay, and harmony. Because dominant seven, minor seven, major seven. Dominant seven, major seven, minor seven. So this way, basically you can play any song. Already I did teach a lot of root third or seven here at the guitar, uh, no, I'm sorry. Tomo which is the music. So you, you go to my, okay, you go to my um, YouTube channel, search, right, root, third, seven, swing. Comes up a lot of lessons. You should review that. Okay, you got number five. Number six, strumming. You, or strumming or, you know, shuffle. But I think open string is really important. So this one, you could like this, simple. C. Okay. Last one, you have to really play this because it's just like foundation of guitar, electric guitar and blues guitar, a shuffle. I did this lesson here too, you know, rhythm guitar. Sometimes, some, sometimes I'm sorry, I'm not really good at making right title. So sometimes title, title not really matching the contents, you know. 
but I clean up a little bit um, my channel, so a little bit easier to see. Like Eric Clapton, that guy. Rhythm guitar. Simple, but we have to play clean. See that this shuffle is quite difficult to do proper, you know. Mute. So question usually people ask, so which hand are you use for muting? Both really. I use this. I use this palm muting so are you clear about what to do sort of a daily practice routine also going to the right direction so this is basic routine from here of course, ear training, bending exercise, learning jazz standards, many things. fun guitar makes your life our life so beautiful and no competition makes us very humble to become nicer people if we become nice people everybody else become nicer so nice people be kind to yourself don't worry so mr. M do you understand whole thing okay definitely if you study alone limit it yourself even John Mayer came to Boston from Connecticut. So it means has to pack so many things, prepare, being in Boston himself, and fits to Berkeley, and every day get up, go to class, practice, figuring out. Okay? So many uh, challenge. So that challenge, even one, two semester, changed his life because he understand how to measure things. Otherwise, if you stay in a small town without any um, experience, you, you see everything kind of small. You don't really see from far away. So you think kind of easy to do. Maybe mis make a mistake about the measurement. See, if you make a measurement, it doesn't fit, you know, so you have to look carefully. And I highly, highly recommend to join my Guitar Wisdom because only $9.99, $10 a month subscription that you can watch every detail, sight reading, beginner series, blues, jazz, funk, neo soul, soloing, improvisation, harmony, ear training, everything. Everything I know, actually, I'm putting out every single week. So more you stay, more you come back, you learn more and add, add more. So that's, that's, I think, good deal to me because it's not too expensive. And you can join anytime if you, if you have a difficulty financially or you don't feel like the practicing. Yeah, take off for a while, come back again. That's what people do. That's good. And so, yeah. Again, if you have a lot of you, great person, great player, great teacher, great learner, great students, why don't you write any recommendation how to practice and what you thought about my suggestion 
for Mr. M. So technically, again, review, I gave you guidance how to build basic routine. This routine can be changed, okay? It's not stick to this in a, you know, many, many months. But you can see some of the stuff, you can develop some of the stuff, you focus on two, three months, and after that, you don't have to do it. Like a triad, you don't have to do that much after you learn. But then you have to apply that into uh, different songs and stuff. And uh, I, I hope uh, this is helpful. Okay. Thank you so much for watching Tomoshita Music. Make sure these things you want to review. Okay. How to sit, posture. Second, how to use a strap. How important to use strap. Number three, fingering and picking exercise horizontally. It's written here. And then triad. Triad. Make sure C major triads all over the place understand the degree and root third seven swing so this way you understand root third and seven guide tone for jazzy chords and strumming move your body grooving you know open chords and last one shuffle because if you want to jam with somebody of course you have to backing up somebody to play kind of bluesy thing so like if you go, for example, if you go to Noma's rare guitar, somebody's there, Joe Bonamassa there, you, you want to jam with Joe, and Joe want to play E blues and shuffle, maybe like a hideaway, you have to play. And if you play really good rhythm, he will remember. All right, sounds good. Thank you so much for watching Tomoshita Music. Thank you for your support. Please like this video, share this video with your friend. That's all I ask. Sharing, like this video, and follow subscribe my you know this channel and of course if you like my contents i recommend to um, subscribe my guitar wisdom thank you so see you very soon thank you